Hello. Our company is Free Engineer, who operates electrical work in Chofu City. Today is the second of how to read Japanese drawings. Uh, let's talk about lighting fixtures. If you haven't seen the first part, please see it from the link on the upper right. Only the lights and switches are shown in the drawing, I will explain based on this drawing. The first is the ceiling hooks, there are round and square types. A device of this type dot a fixture for attaching ceiling lighting to the ceiling. Ceiling lighting is a form of lighting that is often seen in living rooms. As long as it has the hook ceiling socket appliances can be replaced without an electrical qualification. Next is the pendant light, lighting that is attached to the ceiling and suspended. There is a type that attaches to the hanging hook ceiling socket and a type that attaches directly to the ceiling. Next is the base light, IT is a square fixture that is installed on the ceiling or wall. The symbol is a combination of a circle and a rectangle, if you have a switch at hand, you may get a black circle. Previously, it was avoided because it was not suitable for residential lighting recently, fashionable items have increased and are often used in the kitchen. Down lights are next, symbols are often double circles or triple circles. A lighting fixture that is installed in a hole drilled in the ceiling a tea is used in various places such as bathrooms and living rooms. Next is the bracket light. It is a light with a cover attached to the wall. A type of indirect lighting. It is a lighting that spreads light because there is a cover. Outdoors such as the side of the entrance, it can also be installed in bathrooms. Next is the duct rail. Attach the duct rail to the ceiling. The duct rail has you can attach a spotlight, etc. If you install a duct rail like the hook ceiling socket, no license is required to replace equipment. Then there is the spotlight, IT can be installed on both walls and ceilings. If the duct rail mentioned earlier is not written together, it is installed independently and qualification is required for replacement. Indoors, of course, some can be installed outdoors, such as at the front door. Next is line lighting. A type of indirect lighting that illuminates walls and ceilings. Many of them are thin so that they can be installed in places that cannot be seen directly. Lighting that can produce a stylish effect. The last is a garden light. They are also called garden lights or outdoor lights. In the case of this symbol, it is not to be installed on the wall, it often represents something that is placed on the floor. How was it? Like switches, there are many types of lights. Catalogs can be easily viewed on the internet. Find your ideal lighting.